right? So we just reviewed density and how it has an effect on substances. The more dense a liquid is, the more it will want to sink. And the less dense a liquid is, the more it will want to float on something. So we have here six different liquids, all of different densities. And we're going to make a density column with the most dense liquids on the bottom and the least dense liquids on the top. And then we can drop in different items to check their densities. So if it's more dense than one of the liquids, it will sink to the bottom of it. But if it is less dense than one of the liquids, it'll float on top of that liquid. So in doing this, we need to start with our most dense liquid, which is honey. Honey is a pretty dense liquid. And we're just going to add it to the bottom of our cylinder. And we don't really need to measure specific amounts. We just want about even amounts of everything. Alright, so that looks like a good amount of honey. Next, this is just regular corn syrup, but I put some green dye in it just to give it a nice different color than our honey. So I'll add this in next. And this is less dense, so you'll see as it hits the honey, it will float on top of it. Alright, so the next liquid we're going to, a little bit less dense than corn syrup, will be uh, Dawn dish soap. So we'll put some of this in. The next liquid we're going to be using is water. With water, I want to make sure it doesn't fall too deep in, so I'm going to pour it in at, at a tilt here. And you can see there's a little mixing there, but for the most part, there will be water on top there and soap on the bottom. And then we should all know, this is just regular vegetable oil. You can like regular cooking oil. Oil floats on water, so if I pour this in, it should stick with it. And then on top, the least dense liquid we're gonna be using is isopropyl alcohol. I gave it some nice, red coloring to it just so we can see the difference and we all saw that experiment where the ice cubes sank in the isopropyl alcohol that's because it is a very low dense liquid here low density so we're going to put this and should stay right on top of that oil Alright, so now that we've made our density column, we can see we have one, two, three, four, five, six nice layers now with our most dense on the bottom and our least dense on the top. So now that we've made our density column, it's time to test other items to see where their density falls. So if it falls below something, that means it's more dense than that substance. And if it is floating on top of something, it is going to be less dense. So we're gonna start off, this is just a popsicle stick. What I want you guys to do is just think about where you think each one's gonna fall. Just try to play the guessing game and we'll see where it ends up falling. All right, so our popsicle stick floats on our isopropyl alcohol. I got here, it's just a pencil eraser. So we'll see where this one goes. And it 
looks like it might be sinking through the corn syrup. So it's just a little bit less dense than the corn syrup. And we can keep an eye on that to see if it keeps sinking, because it might even sink through the honey. Uh, very similar to that, we have, this is just pure rubber, a rubber stopper that we might use in chemistry. And it looks like the rubber stopper is slightly less dense than the eraser because it's floating on the corn syrup. We got here uh, just a regular paper clip. And you can see the eraser is still going through that honey. So the eraser is more dense than the honey because it's keeping on falling through. I got just a white plastic ball. Sounds like it might be hollow. And it went straight through the water and it looks like it's fallen through the soap so it is more dense than the soap. Let's see what happens when it hits the corn syrup. It looks like it's floating right on that corn syrup. This is just regular marble. I'm gonna drop this one in. The marble, real quick, straight through the corn syrup, going to the honey. And you can even see here at the bottom with the honey, we got the, our eraser, we got our paper clip, and the marbles joining it. I got here the edge of a Q tip. So if we have the edge of a Q-tip more dense than the isopropyl alcohol, but less dense than the oil. And the last thing I'm gonna test is some beads. So maybe I'll even cut this up. So that it doesn't kind of get stuck on anything. So we can really test the density. So we'll just test, you know, six beads here. Looks like those beads fell through the water, going through the soap, and we'll see where they land. So remember, if it's, if it's below something, that means it's more dense than that liquid, and if it is floating on something, it is less dense than that liquid. It looks like those beads, you might not be able to see it's all turning around, those beads just came to rest right on top of that corn syrup. So let me give you guys a zoomed in view. On top we got our, our popsicle stick, uh, below our isopropyl alcohol, and above our vegetable oil is our Q-tip. As we go down through the water, there was nothing. So through the water, nothing. Below the soap, we have that plastic ball. We have the rubber stopper and the beads. As we go through the corn oil, nothing there. And then at the bottom, we had a paper clip, an eraser, and the marble there. So those would all be more dense than the honey.